money all around me I look like I'm the man your girl's channel i am naive for those of you who are new and for all my new subbies thank you for subscribing like thank you so freaking much like you guys are amazing i was i wasn't even able to say like excuse me i had to burp yeah, uh, oh had to burp okay so um thank you guys for 2,000 subscribers i was not able to say i said it on snapchat i was like congratulations add me on snap all my information on my social media is right there like literally in the corner and also it's down below but thank you guys so much i said on snapchat and i want you guys like congratulations congratulations like you guys were so amazing some of you guys snapped me like now you hit 2k like oh my gosh so i just want to say thank you guys so much i literally hit one from 1k to 2k so fast i literally hit 2k like a couple days ago and i'm literally at the halfway mark to three up to 3,000. so thank you guys so much you guys are amazing the giveaway is coming i did not forget about the giveaway i just wanted to be Able. I want to have enough hair for three winners. I, you know what I'm saying? I want it to be reasonable lengths. I just and I want to include my eyelashes in it. So it's like a process. I want to be able to like give you guys a good giveaway, not like a, a, a crap giveaway. Like oh, only one winner. I want it to be three winners. You know. So it's coming. I did not forget about it. I'm sorry, you guys. So don't be upset. The giveaway will come as I promised. So today's video is about me talking about how I was able to work with hair companies and the things that I did to work with hair companies even under a thousand subscribers. I literally worked in my first company, I think I had like 4.98, like 4.95, literally 500 subscribers. And now it's pretty freaking amazing if you ask me. So I say thank you guys because I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to even do any hair reviews if you guys weren't watching my videos. So also the things go see you guys. So I'm going to be giving, telling you guys my little tips. Not saying this is guaranteed and that you will be, a hair company will hit you up. If you follow these rules, I don't want nobody hitting me up like Nae. Oh, I follow all your instructions and nobody hit me up since. Like, you're wrong. You're like, no. I'm just saying this is what I did. And these are like the things that can help you guys. That, like, you know what I'm saying? Just tips. Not saying that this is guaranteed. If you do this, then I hair like 7,000 hair companies will be hitting you up. No, that's not how it works. This is just ideas and things that I think might help you guys. This is what I did. Okay, and I will be looking at my phone. Y'all know I have terrible memory. And I will try not to talk too fast because the last video when I talked about um how much small YouTubers make, y'all was like, Nay, you're talking too fast. So I'm like, sorry guys, y'all know I talk fast. I'm, talk I'm a fast talker. So I'm going to try to talk a little bit slower. And let me stop babbling and let's get into this video. Guys, I think I talked a little bit too fast in this video, so please forgive me if I did. If I did, please don't black on me in the comments. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll try. I'm just a fast talker. I apologize. Love you guys. Enjoy the video. Okay. So, the first thing that I did is, girl, I turned off my, like, do y'all see how y'all can, like, for, for those of you who are subscribed, you won't be able to see. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. Thanks, girl. But, um, if, for those of you who are subscribed, I don't know if you can see since you're subscribed, but, like, I think you can't, you still can't see. Um, like, you see how, well, if you unsubscribe really quick, and you will see that, like, when it says subscribe, I'll tell you how many subscribers that I had. Subscribe back. Don't, don't keep it unsubscribed. But, yeah, you'll see that it says, like, whatever, two, whatever, I'm at 2,000, I think I'm at 2,000. 400 something so you'll see that but then i turn that off so you can't see anything but the subscribe button so turn that off because that that's what i did i feel like you know they're obviously they're gonna want to work with you if they think even if they because if for, for them let me say this right mama i told you in that mama i told you in that video of me saying how much um small youtubers make that you don't have to just because you have um 3,000, 4,000, even 40,000 subscribers. If your videos are not getting a certain amount of views and like not getting like people are not watching the whole entire video, that you know what I'm saying. So you can literally have four subscribers if all your videos are getting like if you're posting like really pop like you know say videos about popular topics and all your videos are hitting like okay 10k or more views. You know what I'm saying? That's saying just because you have, you know what I'm saying? Just because you have 10,000 views, that doesn't mean that you, you know what I'm saying? That you need to have 10,000 subscribers. So I personally turned my um turned my subscribe thing off so people wouldn't be able to tell how many subscribers I have, and like they just didn't know, and like the the companies didn't act. They just they just assumed, oh, she's getting a lot of views, so she must has must have at least maybe a thousand, maybe two thousand subscribers, you know? But really, I had like literally 400 subscribers. So. Turn that off. I this is not gonna be in like where to go to click and turn. Off. Just look at just go on Google and type in how to um not show your um subscriber account. 
and it'll tell you okay so that's step one turn that off I turned it back on when I hit a thousand so turn that off right now okay turn it off. guys I just did a whole bunch of talking and it wasn't even freaking recording ah oh! okay I'm sorry so literally step I was talking about step two so step two so let me look at my phone because yeah now I got type of memory now my passwords don't want to work let me see if my thumb my finger what is it thumbprint your yeah whatever I got it okay so step number two do as many hair reviews as you can okay do as many as you can do two week reviews one month review unboxings final reviews three months four months do as many reviews as you can but switch it up don't come you know don't come to the video every single time with straight hair or with curly hair you know i'm saying switch it up so people can see okay it, may, it looks a little different you could talk about how it curled in that video you could talk about how straight in that video you could say oh I've only strained it right now, you know what I'm saying? And then don't then don't curl your hair for like another three weeks so you can so, so when you post that video you can say, Oh now I can tell you guys how it curls, you know? do put yourself out there because how ha hair vendors are gonna find you, they're gonna find you by coming across one of your videos. So if you're putting as much put out quality videos, not just recording crap and then posting crap, they're not gonna want to hit you up if they just see you just posting any kind of video, you know what I'm saying, your lighting all over the place, you, you know what I'm saying, you don't gotta have the perfect camera, the perfect, but you, you work with what you got, if you got a nice big window, put up a sheet behind you, if you got a nice blank wall, you, you know what I'm saying, you, use what you can, but put quality videos out, not crap videos, quality, but put as much as you can, like I said, post two week, three week, four week, five week, because if they come across your video and they click on your video for all you know, three out of, maybe three out of six of those videos could have hit, hit over 2,000 views. And they can say, oh, wow, at least most of her videos are, 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 are you know, are getting views. So let me, let me, let me contact her because most of her videos are up there, okay? You know what I'm saying? So you never know how they're, how they're going to be, you know, looking. Maybe they might, maybe they might see that one video that hit. That got the most views. That's your most popular video, and that's the video that they came across. And they might say, "Okay, she sold me on this video. Let me hit her." Maybe they might click on your on your um on your channel and see how many videos, I mean, how many hair reviews, or how the rest of your videos are doing. But if most of them are getting at least, because my videos, it was not all of my videos. It was like seventy. I guess because most of my videos, most of my videos were getting a, a good amount of views, at least getting over a thousand views. So you know what I'm saying? Put as many videos as you can, quality videos. Like I said, switch it up. Come one time with curly hair. Come one time with straight hair. If you got, you know what I'm saying? Put, put videos out there so they can come. So you, so you can put yourself out there. People can, people can subscribe. People are not gonna subscribe to you if they see one video and they go to your channel and you post a video in a year. Put out videos. Be consistent. You know what I'm saying? Put out as many hair reviews as you can. Okay? As much as you can. Okay? As much as you know, I'm dragging it out as much as you can, okay? So now we're gonna move on to step three. Do not let me say this again do not post videos about hair companies that people ain't never heard of, okay? Especially if you're a small YouTuber, there's no point, it's a waste of time. I mean, unless by the grace of God. Over 4,000 people want to just see that video. I mean, maybe. I'm not saying it's impossible. But think about it like this. What are people searching? People are not searching about, like I, like I also said, I said, I, oh, also watch about how much small um small YouTubers make video, like how much I make, because that I also shared a lot of good tips there. Like I said in that video, nobody's going to search up, oh, Zulu hair. If if they, you know what I'm saying? If that's a new company that just came out that nobody knows of, don't put. I see people posting videos about like hair being sold by their friend. There's no point. I'm sorry, like there's no point because who's who's searching that? Who's clicking Zulu hair if nobody knows who that is? People are searching. People are searching Eunice hair, Ali Moda hair, Ali Grace, RPG show. You know what I'm saying? People are not so. so buy hair from companies even if you can't afford wait maybe if you can't afford kendra's boutique or what is, what else i have here wow african or what else i got here come on what else i got here wow african rpg show her hair company maybe you can't afford from them so go on aliexpress and get from the popular companies go go on youtube search you know search, do, do your research check out the biggest youtubers like malibu doll face or this person that person See who, you know, see the popular, you know, popular, what do you call it? What am I trying to say? 
popular hair vendors that they're 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 doing videos on. So buy from Eunice Hair. Eunice Hair is really popular and they're really affordable. Buy from Ali. I don't know how much Ali Grace costs. Buy from Ali Moda. Do popular hair companies because that's what people are going to be searching. That's what people are going to want to see. So that video is more likely to hit, get a lot of views because people are searching that. Nobody's searching Zulu hair or you know or Bumbara hair. People are not searching that. You know what I'm saying? Do videos on th on hair that people are searching because that's what people want to want to know about. And companies are more likely. Okay, this person they did a video on Eunice hair. You know what I'm saying? This is how hair vendors are gonna find you also, and this is how you're also gonna gain subscribers. Nobody's gonna subscribe to you if they didn't even watch your video. You know what I'm saying? So that is step three. Do and I'm gonna have in the um com the comment section in the description box down below. Uh, excuse me. In the description box down below what um popular hair company that hair companies hair vendors that they are aliexpress and not aliexpress just to help you guys you know just for anybody who's wondering i might not have the links i might just have the name but i'll try to put the links i'll try i'll try to put the links for all of them you know like the top 10 like the top 10 aliexpress popular companies and top 10 like non aliexpress companies just in case you know what i'm saying so that's that's what i have down below for you guys and yeah just put just don't like you look you remember i said Put out as many videos as you can, but put out as many videos as you can talking about hair that is popular. On the hairs that are popular, nobody's searching for, like I said, Zulu hair. Nobody cares about that. People want to know about the popular hair that's out. Okay? Okay. Okay, step four. Present the hair well. I hope I'm not talking too fast. I don't want y'all blacking on me in the comments. Like, you're talking too fast. Present the hair well, please, guys. Present the hair well. Like, when I say present the hair well, when you're doing a review, and that was kind of my mistake. Like, I don't know for those of you who have been around that long, but when I was first doing a review, people talking about my smacking, the smacking in my videos. I smack, I'm smacking right now. I smack regardless. It's just the fact that the camera that I was using at the time, it picked up on that smacking. You feel me? It picked up on it. So I'm smacking out, but y'all don't hear it because my camera is a good enough camera where it picks up on, you know, certain, certain on certain things. Also, I can edit things. You know what I'm saying? I'm better at editing things and stuff. But I still smack. I, I still smack. But it's just the fact that in that in back then when I was doing videos, my camera picked up on it and I didn't know how to edit it out. So people were always commenting like, oh, you're smacking so much. I can't even focus on it. Hey, after my Eunice hair video, you're smacking so much and I can't even focus on the video. I don't even care about what you're talking about because you're smacking so much. So my smacking was distract people. So obviously, like present the hair well. Make sure you look good. The hair looks good. Make sure you're not just coming like, this is such and such hair like you know what I'm if you come and present in the hair if you come and you know talk about it here make sure your hair is straight and make sure your hair looks nice you know what i'm saying who's you know what i'm saying present the hair well where that even if they say for all you know that specific company might might search they might want to be searching up their own they say eunice hair right a eunice hair person or like you know a, a person that's a part of the eunice hair team they type in eunice hair right they come across your video oh wow when she did our video she got a lot of views wow and she's presenting our hair well okay i want her to present more of our hair you know what i'm saying so present the hair well because you never know because that's also why would a company want to hit up somebody that's presenting the hair like crap like you know what i'm saying present the hair well make you know what i'm saying do as much as you can because people try to excite themselves out well like i gotta have the best technology the best the best camera the best spring light the best this best that you don't gotta have because i literally didn't have nothing but my macbook my macbook and my 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 um what did i use a webcam that's all i had to start my videos out with i nobody was sending me hair nobody was nothing i didn't tell nobody about my channel i didn't talk to my best friend and my boyfriend that's it i didn't tell nobody about my channel like i was at least i wasn't scared but like I was fake scared. I was scared of getting judged. Like, and y'all want to talk about that? I'm gonna say about my high school experience. Like, these girls were such haters. They used to hate on my YouTube. Like, I say hate on my channel. I hate to hate on my channel. If you want to hear about that, how my high school experience was like freaking terrible, and how these girls really just hate on me so much, just hate on me, bro. But this is not about that. This is about this is about how to get hair companies to contact you when you're under thousand subscribers. So. Present the hair well. That's like I said, I don't gotta stress it too much. Present the hair well. Y'all know what that means. Y'all know the y'all know the um the people that you're subscribed to, the people that you watch. Y'all see how they present the hair. Present the hair well. You know what I'm saying? Y'all feel me? Okay. Moving on, guys. Step five. Mm -hmm. Thumbnails are important. 
I was like so not aware of this. I mean, I was aware of it, but I just didn't know how to do thumbnails. I'm gonna give it a tip. Yeah, yeah, always. I, I'm here to give y'all the tea. Here to give you the tips. Canva, Canva.com. I have it in, in, in a link down below. Canva.com is a really good um company to do your thumbnails on because you have to have a certain like a certain amount of like I don't know if it's gigabyte. You know, it had, like you have to have like a certain amount of like pixels, some type of. B BS, you have to have like a certain, like you know how like you have an email that's too big to send. For example, like that, you if your thing, if your picture is your photo is too big, it will not be able to upload to YouTube as a, um as a thumbnail. So you have to have a certain like a certain amount. It has to be like maybe like one thousand two hundred fifty eight. And has that X and like three sixty lower than that to post your video. You know what I'm saying so. Canva is very good, or you can just use regular photo grid. But thumbnails are important because, like I said, it's like a, think of it as a book. If you see a book with a crap um cover, you're not gonna want to read it. So if you have a, if you see a book with a oh that that, that cover look popping, you're gonna want to open that book. You feel me? Of uh, your video could be great, but if your thumbnail, if your thumbnail is trash, that's what people are first looking. That's what people. Let me talk a little slower. That's what people are first seeing. So why would they ever want to um click on a video that you know that that thumbnail is not inter interesting me? You know what I'm saying? And also titles are very important too. Say if you have a bomb thumbnail, right? Your hair look great, and then your title says oh two month two month review. Your thumbnail says for to the mind. Your thumbnail says two month review. People are gonna think, okay, her hair looks mad popping. If she had that hair for two months, whatever, four months, five months, wow. I wanna know I wanna know what hair is that. I wanna you know I wanna, I wanna know her um, her um her thoughts on that hair. Let me click on that video. You feel me? So you have to have a good thumbnail. I feel like thumbnails are important. I feel like people really sleep on thumbnails. Thumbnails could really take make your video like my Eunice hair video. I'm telling you, if I did not have that thumbnail, my hair that video at before my prom vlog, that video was my most my most watched video because it got like I think I got like 70,000 views right now. I could be lying, could I could have like 60. I don't know, but my prom vlog got over a hundred thousand views. But I'm telling you, if my Eunice hair, that Eunice hair video, if I did not have that thumbnail, that video would not be where it's at right now. Cause nobody, cause nobody would have clicked on it if I didn't have that popping picture. You know what I'm saying? I got mad, mad likes on that on Instagram. So that's how I knew that, and it was, it was really Eunice hair. So that's how I knew. Okay, let me use that, that, um, that photo, and I used Canva to put in the words like Eunice, Eunice hair. I did use, um, I did use Canva to put in like the words of Eunice hair. To, um to make that thumbnail so thumbnails are important remember that thumbnails are important please like like think of it like a book i'm gonna keep repeating myself but think of it like a book thumbnails are important people will not click on your videos if your thumbnail is trash okay guys do not have trash thumbnails six is very simple have your email in your description box because i see mad people even people that have been on youtube for a minute like they've been on youtube for like a say like a year or two years three years whatever and say say like they're not where they're not where they think that they're not where they're supposed to be they still won't have their link their um um they have links because companies are not going to hit you up if they think that you're not going to put their link in your description have links in the description box if you're not going to subscribe so you're going to be okay this girl does not put links in the, in the description box and they're going to get annoyed by you i would get annoyed if some girl has some popping old hair and she would not put the link in the description box i would not want to subscribe to her because i'll be like okay she doesn't have it in the description box so why would i want to subscribe to her you feel me so and also Put your email because and also have good professional emails. Not sexy baby two three one. Not um Miss Kitty Boo Boo. Like no, nice simple professional emails. Whatever. If your name is Kaylin, oh Kaylin Business Kaylin at Gmail. Make very simple. Make very simple simple business emails for you to have so people can contact you. Okay, it's very simple. I'm not gonna drag this drag this number six. Put your email. In description, it's very important. That's how vendors are going to contact you, okay? And this is like the last thing I'm just gonna say because people think that I'm working with companies are all glitz and glam. And honey, let me tell you, it is not all glitz and glam. It's hard work, especially if you are a person who um because I feel like it's I feel like after a while, after doing after if you want to be a hair reviewer, you're gonna have to sooner or later learn how to do your own hair. I feel like unless you got money like that to be Every time, you know, every time a company contacts you, they say a company contacts you um th th three times a month, twice a month. You're gonna run, to, run, run to a hair salon to get that. So unless you got a cousin, unless you got a cousin who um who does hair or something, you're gonna run to a, a hair salon and get your hair sewn in three times a month and pay whatever one fifty a month, one fifty. 
153 times a month you're not gonna do it. I feel like I so I feel like after a certain a certain time you're gonna have to learn how to do your own hair this one either sew your own hair in make you parts make wigs whatever and like I said the, doing that is not easy like you know what I'm saying making wigs is not you know an one hour you know what I'm saying it, it doesn't take no it could have somebody one hour but I mean for the most part it takes at least more than an hour so it takes time you know what I'm saying you gotta make the front to look nice pluck it this that companies are like okay if you don't do they say if you're having a really busy stressful week and you have school you have college or whatever right and then that week goes by so fast the company is hounding you like hello my video hello dear hello friend where is my video hello dear texting your phone you know what i'm saying and they purposely want your phone number because of reasons like that just in case you don't you know just in case you whatever don't put up the video as fast as, that, fast as you said you would whatever it's not it's not all glitz and glam like you may see like oh the, the hair looks so beautiful oh my gosh that's amazing they get paid for that video and it, it's boom and you know what i'm saying also don't ask for money when you first get hair look when you, you know what i'm saying let it build up and do at least work at least like five companies then start asking for money especially if you're a small you if you especially if like under a thousand don't just start asking for money, asking for money over it because that could also damage your um ruin your chance of working with them because they could be like oh you know what I'm saying? She didn't even get that many views. Ain't she asking me to pay her? Like, it's alright. I'd rather not work with her. You could have just missed out. You know what I'm saying? You could have just took, you know, just took the hair and just, you know, and then been good. But so you have to act. You have to be greedy and ask for money. And then look, now you don't, you don't get the hair or the money. So keep those things in mind. Hair doing, you know, doing hair reviews, being a hair review is not all glitz and glam all the time. It's definitely, you know, it's definitely a something I feel very blessed to. I haven't spent money on hair in a very long time. Well, I recently, I recently did, but. But I usually, during the year, I'll spend money on hair at least maybe four, not even four, maybe like eight, I mean, how many, let me not over exaggerate, maybe like five times out of the year I'll spend money on hair. But I've spent money on hair this year once, all the rest of the other hairs I've had have been sent, sent to me. So I, it's real, I'm really fortunate and blessed, but at the same time, it's not all easy and hard work. Like I had literally have three hairs that I have not able, I've saw, I, I made one wig. But I have not gotten to plucking, dyeing, anything. You know what I'm saying? I still have the two other hairs that I still didn't do. So it's not all glitz and glam all the time. Remember that. But just remember that. It's not all glitz and glam all the time. It's definitely hard work. But like I said, it's all for if you're in it. If you're not in for it, then you you will give up and you will not do it. So let me see. Is there anything else? I, wanna, I don't want to forget anything I have to say. Like I said, this is I'm telling you how what I did. This is not guaranteed to work. Don't hit me up on Snap Blacking on me or DM me Blacking on me like night. I followed your instructions and it didn't work. Please don't do that. But I love you guys so much. Don't forget, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. I'm sorry if I talked really fast in this video. I'm a fast talker. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, guys. Love you guys so much. <coughs> Bye, guys. Just moved on this video. I don't usually do baby hairs with this hair that I'm used to. I'm currently wearing. But I decided to try something different. I don't know if I really like it yet, but that's just how I am.